Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Get ready for one more warm day uh, with uh, temperatures aiming for the 80s. We got high pressure offshore, big powerful cold front in the Midwest today. There'll be some storms out there during the daytime, but then tonight I think this front's going to move in, provide some storms here. And then the Friday and Saturday is going to be a different setup. High pressure will be to the northeast, but it's going to have this cold air come in around the bend off the ocean in from the east. And so that's going to happen for sure Friday and Saturday. Hopefully uh, breaks down on Sunday, but we'll see. The temperature today, 86. That's what I'm calling for. That's what the model's calling for. 80 in New York even, but 50s in Columbus and Louisville. So that colder, and I mean colder compared to what we've got. Air is coming in tomorrow. Highs will be in the low to mid 50s, and that's it. 58 in D.C. Uh, some 70s in Wilmington. There's your heat in Jacksonville, 88. Uh, we're going to be, wow, the model just updated. It's got 49 on Saturday. I'm going in the 50s still, but I do think that it is going to be uh, definitely chilly for Friday and Saturday. Storm reports, you know, in the last 24 hours, they had uh, hail, they had wind damage, they had tornadoes off to the west. And so as the system moves east, it is going to weaken. We have less of a threat for severe, but we do have a slight risk. That's category two out of five, and that is for the Middle Peninsula Eastern Shore, a uh, marginal risk for Hampton Roads. So we'll be on the lookout for that again this evening and tonight. Now the cold front is still way off to the west. We have uh, mixes of sun and clouds around here right now, and that's what we're going to have for a good portion of the day. Chance of rain doesn't really increase until we get to the evening. This afternoon, maybe an isolated shower storm will pop. So right now we don't have any rain out there. We're going to see a quiet morning. Models trying to throw in a, a stray sprinkle. Eh, if we see a sprinkle, I'll be surprised. But um, anyway, we'll see quiet weather out there for the first half of the day. And even between noon and 3 p.m., not much rain. Maybe an isolated shower storm. And between 3 and 6 o'clock, isolated shower storm. But I think the bulk of it is up around Richmond. Now, sometimes you get these little outflow boundaries, these little mini cold fronts coming away from these storms. That could give us a chance of rain a little earlier than the model shows, at least in some inland and northern areas. So I do think between 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock, scattered showers and storms arrive, and then uh, drops to the south as the front does. We'll see rain overnight, maybe some heavy rain. Then tomorrow, the front's to the south, but the moisture lifts over it, so we see a lot of rain out there for Friday, on and off showers. Saturday, it breaks for a bit, and then comes right back in, and we'll see a lot of rain Saturday, too. How much rain are we talking? Inch, inch and a half. Some places, if we're lucky, maybe up to two inches, but our model kind of backed off of that a little bit. We need the rain. We got a moderate drought for a lot of the area, abnormally dry for most. Temperatures 85 today in Virginia Beach, 86 in Norfolk, mid to upper 80s with some low 80s over the Outer Banks. And then we've got some upper 70s on the Eastern Shore, mid 80s in Hampton and Newport News, upper 80s in Williamsburg. Pollen levels, they're as high as it gets. It's another rough day for algae sufferers, but it'll get washed out tonight and tomorrow with that rain and storms. Saturday more rain, 57, and then isolated shower Sunday morning.